What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, the update is actually here in Fortnite. It was actually supposed to come out yesterday, but again, Epic said they had something that they found in the game and you know they had to delay it to today, but it's already here. If you're sleeping, it's okay. When you wake up, you should be able to download it. Fortnite is now currently updating for me. It is 4.30 in the morning right now. There is a huge downtime, of course, but there is new patch notes that just got released. So there is a couple of new things that are coming into Fortnite Battle Royale. Of course, that one thing is also including a brand new weapon. There's a lot of information that I think you guys should know about. And then, of course, there's going to be new cosmetic skins that are being leaked and will be coming into Fortnite within the coming week, week or two. I made no sense. Let me correct myself. Within the coming weeks i'm sorry okay i'm still half asleep here just give me a break so i guess the most important thing to note is that of course there's been a bunch of bug fixes and a bunch of ui fixes etc etc something that they do every single update but the most newest and most exciting thing is of course the weapon and items there's a brand new weapon and there is a brand new item that i honestly did not expect and i think it's a cool addition first off we're gonna get into the weapon just so you guys know a little bit more about this weapon um, it is going to be an epic and legendary, and of course, it's going to be a burst assault rifle. As per usual, the weapon could be found on the floor loot, treasure chests, supply jobs, and vending machines. The epic variant is going to do 32 damage versus the legendary variant, which is going to do 33 damage. It's going to use medium, regular AR bullets, of course, uses the same damage fallout ranges as other assault rifles, added a brand new forage item, apples. Okay, that is going to be the new item in Fortnite Battle Royale. <laughs> This was so unexpected to me. Honestly, I felt like I was so lost. I was like, when I was reading this, I was like, what, what, we're getting fucking apples? But it's actually pretty cool. I think, I know, I know it, it sounds like there is a lot of, you know, just different ways of like healing up. It's kind of crazy. It, it's kind of like to the point where we should start memeing this, right? Because there's a lot of fucking ways to heal up in this game. But I'm not complaining, to be honest. The way the apples work are as follow. If you consume one apple, it will grant you five health and, of course, up to 100. Now, five health is really nothing. The thing is, finding the apples, you can uncommonly uh, find around certain trees throughout the map. So now, sometimes, breaking trees doesn't only give you wood, but it gives you freaking apples, man. That's, that's pretty lit. Let's just say it, pretty late. The only thing that I'm still concerned about, and of course, we'll see this when we bring you guys the gameplay later today of the new weapon, is it says it gives you five health, but up to 100. I'm assuming the apples are unlike the bandages that can take you up to 100. And I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool method of, of looting for different health properties, not gonna lie, but how many apples can you carry? Probably carry, I don't know, I wanna say five, 10 apples. Who knows? Don't quote me on that again. We'll see later on with the gameplay that I'll bring you guys. Now, some other stuff have been changed, and it's also pretty interesting to know. Like, for instance, the impulse grenade, uh, the drop rate has been increased by 5%, which is not that much. Those things were, like, literally, they were pooped all over the map, to be honest. Suppressed so SMGs. The damage has been increased by 3. A common is now 20, was 17. Uncommon is now 21, was 18, and the rare is now 22, which was 19. The increased accuracy reset speed by 25%. This will decrease the penalty during continuous fire. I guess the SMG's got a pretty decent buff. That's that's what it looks like. The SMG also got an increased damage fall off range. So the fall off begins at 28 meters, was 24 before. Damage reduces to 85 at 47 meters, was 80 at 30. Dude, this this shit's actually pretty beast now. 75% at 70 meters, 65 at 250 meters. I guess this makes the SMG a little bit more usable, cause the, at least the suppressed SMG, the regular SMG is actually overpowered in my opinion, but the suppressed SMG is. <laughs> It's total butt cheeks. This makes it a little, bit, a little bit more useful. Now the trap, okay? The damage trap that we love to place and, and, and hope that people walk by them so we can kill them has been nerfed, man. And a pretty big drastic nerf, if you ask me. Which I think it's a good thing because I hate walking into rooms and taking 125 damage from them shits. So now the damage has been gone from 125 to 75. If you're in a house and you have 100 regular health, you just took a beautiful new med kit and you walk into a house and you hate and you get hit by a trap, you don't just die and disappear, and then you gotta start your solos all over again. 
So that's good because I felt like I felt like the traps were a little bit overpowered. I'm not gonna lie. I think 75 is a perfect a perfect number in my opinion. Now the traps reset time has been decreased from six to five seconds. Of course, remote explosives also have been tweaked. Uh, they now damage all structures with range, whether or not they are visible from the explosion center. The damage radius and throw radius have been increased. Okay, so that's they're gonna be more useful now because they were kind of poopy. Uh, delay between se uh, sequential explosion has been reduced from 25 seconds, 0.25 seconds to 0 0.175 seconds. Okay, so they're slightly faster now to throw. Delay before detonating a charge or throwing another one has been reduced from 0 0.75 seconds to 0 0.15 seconds. They've also removed the delay between swapping to a grenade and the ability to aim it. So overall, these are the main, main fixes that have been happening. Of course, also bug fixes, performance uh, fixes, some audio issues or whatnot. But this is literally the, the main thing that's been fixed in this update as far as like the weapon and items go. And to me, it's the most important part that I think you guys should know. And now we get into the juicy stuff. The brand new skins that have been leaked and boy, oh boy, do they look freaking cool. Okay, I don't have the rarity names that haven't been released yet. You guys are getting like literally first look at these skins. They just got pulled from the data due to the brand new update and they are pretty juicy. A lot better than the first batch for season four because that batch really sucked butt cheeks, right? Like those skins were kind of, they were cool, but it's, there was no legendaries, barely any epics. Like, I don't know what the hell was going on. This one, I think is going to be a lot more exciting. So here on screen, I'm going to pop up the skins that have been leaked. Of course, they have been data mined by two epic buddies over on Twitter as per usual. The first right off the bat, just the first freaking skin, a big ass fish with human like teeth. This is absolute gorgeous. This is pure art. Actually, this th this type of fish, you can see he's a little bit crazy. He's got like some type of, uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's human flesh or an octopus tentacle in his mouth, but I like it. I'm digging it. He, he looks like the older, bullier, you know, heavier, meaner looking bully. F okay, I'm going to stop. He looks like the Leviathan's older brother. Okay, that's what he looks like. But I like it. Something that I would definitely definitely buy again I, I talked about this saying that there was going to be aliens coming like four months ago and these are alien like skins because this is not shit you see in real life okay next up next to him we we have like what appears to be i don't know if it's a villain or a superhero but i i want to say he's probably a villain if if that's even the case but he looks pretty sick i honestly don't know what it is yet a very interesting looking character i want to say this dude's definitely going to be either a legendary or an epic for sure just like you know, same thing as the fish here. I think these two are probably going to be top tier, my opinion, epic or legendary. There's no way that these are common and uncommon. I, I just, or rare for that, for that matter. I just don't see it. Anyways, next up here, we have what appears to be the next and updated version of the astronaut suits. It's kind of like a little bit of a reskin, but slightly better and slightly different. These are actually hazmat suits. And um, I like the color. I'm not going to lie. I'm digging the color. Um, I'm hoping that we don't have so much highlights because those kind of do throw you off and reveal your position to like the enemies. But regardless, these look really, really cool. The reason I know that they're kind of like hazmat suits is because, you know, they correlate with what, what I'm going to show you now after here. Um, but you got the female version and you have the male version, of course, just same as the astronaut. You got the male version that came out first and then the female version Maybe these come out at the same time as a bundle. Have they, you know, they've been doing that in the past. Something that I'm definitely interested in getting because they look pretty cool. Next up, we have the dude that explains it all. The dude that explains the cameras. I think this is actually uh, probably, he looks, <laughs> he looks like Kimbo Slicer or, or, or Jax from Mortal Kombat or something. He looks like something fucking crazy. But I am very excited to run around with a shirtless dude with very, very tough muscles. And, um, you know. Fucking rack of bullets around his chest. Looks pretty awesome. He looks like a true warrior. He is definitely, definitely ready to kick ass and take names. I don't know if this is going to be a legendary or epic yet. To be honest, right now, the, the rarity doesn't really matter. It's just the fact that these skins actually look really nice. So those are going to be all the new skins, right? It's five skins. Now we have gliders and back blinks, which look pretty nice. Uh, the glider. Okay, we have a glider. This is the glider for the second skin. Again, it's a V, a golden V. I, I don't know if this symbolizes uh, evil or good or, or, or what it's trying to symbolize, but it's a decent glider. I'm not the biggest fan of gliders unless they do something special. But next up, we have another glider, which is uh, belonging to the hazmat suits. Of course, the reason why it is is because it's got the same color scheme. It's got the radioactive little symbol thing going on. 
it definitely belongs to this. And then you have the male and the female back playing for these individual skins. I want to say these are definitely, these two for sure are definitely going to be either epic or, or legendary just because they got back blings. Um, and a lot of the times these are high tier uh, skins. Okay, next up you have what appears to be kind of like uh, oxygen tanks. Uh, of course, I want to say that this belongs to the fish skin just because, you know, the fish skin doesn't have like a, a bowl with, with some type of water as, you know, kind of like if you compare it to the Leviathan skin, he has a bowl and then there's a fish inside. This fish is out in the wild, no bowl of water. He is an absolute savage. He needs his oxygen, okay? So I want to say it's for that skin. Maybe not, but that's what I'm thinking. The next up we have four pickaxes, which actually look really, really cool. The first one being the stop sign cut into like some axe shape. I'm definitely going to cop it. I, I like you know buying pickaxes because you know you do play with the pickaxe most of the time you, you probably use a pickaxe sometimes more than weapons since you're like harvesting for materials or whatnot then we have what appears to be some type of drill don't know if this belongs to any particular skin um perhaps it can go with the hazmat suits but it looks really really cool uh following that we have some mysterious metal object it, it, it already you can tell it's gonna be sleek it's probably gonna make a really cool sound effect when you swing it or equip it I'm excited for that. And then you have the final one, which is going to be uh, a camera. And, and, and I, this, I think this matches perfectly with the Kimbo Slice slash Jack skin. The dude that's shirtless with all those bullets across his chest. Because, again, I feel like this is the dude that is um, part of a movie set, right? He's part. He's probably an actor in the movie. Since he's part of a movie, and obviously this is my opinion, then I would assume that he comes with the camera or you could buy the camera to match it with this character's skin. Those are going to be all your skins. Now there is also some brand new emotes, which is nothing special. It's only cool when you actually see them in game. But of course, for those of you that are interested, you have Bendy, the clapper, which uh, <laughs> it's literally the, that was going to be good. That's going to be amazing. The pop dance and the yeet. Four brand new dances. We don't know the rarities yet, but that's going to be for all uh, the cosmetics guys, dances, new skins, update, bug fixes, everything you need to know for this update. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find these useful, leave me a like. It is 4 in the morning. Your boy out here trying. Okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be bringing you guys video later on with the new weapon, etc., etc. You guys know the deal. Um, Thank you guys so much. Catch you guys on the next one.